Hey everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Genre Makers. For those of you who may be new to the series, this is where I go into various different games and genres, looking to see which ones were influential in the development of them or changed how we view them entirely. And today we're going back to the shmup genre, and a game that's legendary and revolutionary in its approach to the genre as a whole, in the form of Gradius. So if you have a moment, grab a snack and hang out on a wall as we go into the world of shmups and how Gradius influenced them on the whole. Hope you brought a lot of quarters. Now, Gradius was a game released by Konami who was trying to move out of making what they call more metal machines. These are types of old school amusement machines often found in places like boardwalks and the like in the States. They wanted to start getting into the video game market because they had seen that it was proving to have some steam and growing in the amount of money that it would make. Insane amount, in fact, with games like Space Invaders and Pac-Man showing just how insanely profitable this could all be. To that end, they actually tasked a relatively new person to make a game for them, by the name of Machiguchi Hiroyashu, which I'm certain I mispronounced, I do apologize. Now, he had been on board as a programmer since around 1980, and this was his first chance to lead up a game. Now, after getting his team together, they actually sat down to talk about the type of game they'd actually like to develop, and the consensus was to make a shooter game. Many developers around this time, at least in Japan, had been paying a lot of attention to how popular Xevious was. Now, we have spoken about this game before. It's one of the ones that we've seen in the series that was really influential in its use of scrolling backgrounds and the ability to shoot targets both in the air and on the ground. Now, it wasn't the most popular game in the United States, but in Japan, it was massively popular and had gotten the genre a ton of attention and kind of made it see a resurgence. Now, these developers wanted to build something that could rival just how popular and influential this game was, so they got to work. Now, development reportedly took just one year, which, given how new the entire team was to the development process, was honestly really impressive and by modern standards, phenomenal. They worked really hard to give the world a distinct feel and look along with mechanics. And honestly, I'd say it worked, given how I can't think of very many games, if any, that look quite like Gradius, and almost none that had the option system. I know what you're saying, what about Life Force, aka Salamander? Well, that's a variation and spinoff of Gradius as a series, so it makes sense that it would use it. I know what you're asking though. What all makes this important? How does it play? How was it received? You know, all those are good questions. So let's have a look at some of them, shall we? First off, this game was a horizontal shooter that would take you through various different environments through waves and waves of enemies. Kind of your standard shooter fare. Your ship initially starts off pretty weak and slow to boot. That's where the power-up system that's famous for comes into play. You see, by collecting the orbs on the screen, you'd move the progress bar along the bottom. You could then hit a button to activate one of them. This allows you to have more control over the weapons and defensive measures you use as you progress through the game. This also includes the famous option orbs that allow you even more firepower on top of buffing each weapon multiple times through the selection process. Conversely, if you want to choose a different weapon, you could actually do that, but then you would have to bump it up again. But in practice, most people would stick to one weapon that they liked and use it most of the game, especially since switching weapons would obviously leave you weaker overall late in the game. This all in all kind of popularized the different weapon systems and mechanics with the orbs and everything like that that would kind of become a staple of the shooter genre overall. However, what do you guys think of Gradius? Do you like its unique approach to shooters? Are any of you fans of the series? And if not, what's your favorite shooter? Which Gradius do you enjoy most, if any at all? Let me know in the comments. And while you're there, if you don't mind, leave this video a like. Also, if you see more of my content you like, possibly something on the screen now, consider following the channel. That helps me out a ton. Till we meet again though, I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy gaming.